Bats bringing together Flash Flanagan and Bobby Bronze, two young stars going in opposite directions. I don't mean with their record here on MCW Paul Adams, but I mean with their attitude. Bobby Bronze quickly becoming a fan favorite and a fan stalwart here at MCW. And that man, Flash Flanagan, as one fan mentioned to me before this match began, oh my goodness, now we have to watch the Maniac. Well, you can say what you want, Michael, but you know what? I live here in Nashville. Well, I don't, not permanently, of course. I know I'm going home for the holidays soon and everything. But I got to stay here in Nashville, which, by the way, Prentice has me set up in a hotel, a hotel room where it's so small, the roaches are hunchbacks. It's really getting to me over there. I got to survive on tap water and peanut butter and everything. It's really starting to hurt me. But this Bobby Bronze, yeah, he's going to get the support of the crowd in this one because these people out here are so ignorant. They don't appreciate the fact that Flash is here week in and week out. And week in and week out, He's one of the marquee players. You know, they can forget about putting MCW wrestling on the marquee out here in front of the fairgrounds. Flash's name ought to be up there. And a high back body drop off the top goes Flash Flanning at Bobby Braun throwing, and he goes for that flying head scissors, but it didn't quite connect. And that may have been uh, more damaging to Flash. Nope, he's coming right back on Braun. Look at Flanagan. No wrestling at all right there. He's just going after his man. He's just trying to put him down and possibly put him out of the sport of professional wrestling. Well, whatever. And just as I was talking about Flash being up on the marquee in front of the fairgrounds, he was high up in the air for that big backdrop. But then, uh, like I say, Braun's there, this rookie, he missed that head scissors, and now Flash has gotten the opportunity to take back over right there with a reverse neck breaker. And obviously, with the advantage, Flash Flanagan with that neck breaker on Braun, making short work of this match. Oh, my goodness. And Flanagan not being a uh, very nice man as he kicks his opponent after he's already beaten. You can put it in the book, Michael, because it's his tari. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a big one, and it's going to happen tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock only at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. That's right. No wrestling tonight at the fairgrounds. We're going to save it for tomorrow afternoon, matinee show at 2 o'clock, so all the kids can come. Whew, a lot of matches, and it's the Nashville Showcase of the Stars. Opening it off will be the very popular Thrill Billy taking on Big John White. A match that's going to be full of action. Style and Shane Eaton against Derek King. Chris Michaels returns to take on Buff Anderson. Reno Riggins will make his Music City Wrestling debut, taking on the dirty white boy Tom Burton. It's the Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. Gary Valiant taking on Trailer Park Trash. Two of my favorites, the Wild Boys, return to take on the Centerfolds. Stephen Dunn will collide with Billy Joe Travis. Colorado kid trying to earn his way back to a title spot against the 450-pound male stripper, Frenchie Riviera. And in the main event, PG-13 Tag Team of the Year will take on Flash Flanagan and Terry Golden with Princess D in the corner. Look at all them matches. It's Nashville's Showcase of the Stars. Anybody who's a credible wrestler that lives around Nashville, Tennessee, is on the card tomorrow. Nashville Showcase of the Stars, tomorrow afternoon, December 14th at 2 o'clock. Don't miss it. Santa Claus will be there, and every child that enters the gate will be given a free wrapped Christmas present. Ladies and gentlemen, don't miss tomorrow Nashville Showcase of the Stars, and welcome some of the new stars, Reno Riggins, Gary Valiant, Wild Boys, Chris Michaels, Big John White, on and on, back to Music City Wrestling. Don't forget the main event, PG-13, takes on Flanagan and Golden with Princess D in the corner. that last song. Now, I'd like to dedicate this next song to a very special man, Mr. Vince McMahon, and I hope you like this. I'm in the Christmas spirit, and it goes something like this. Mm -hmm. Silent night, holy night. All is calm, all is bright, round young virgin mother and child, holy in 
tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace.